all right so i'm going to walk you through a few of the new features in the nmvr beta that we just released so first of all onion skins we think we've improved the onion skins quite a lot because now there are past onion skins and future onion skins uh, you can disable them if you want to um, you can mix them and say how many of them should actually appear and uh, just gonna make a few more frames here so that it makes a bit more sense um, so the onion skins they wrap around the blue ones are the future and the red ones are the past since the timeline always loops this is just how it is but you can you can make your own settings for this basically all right um gonna reset the scene next thing frames and timelines so i can create frames like this this is a little representation of the timeline here uh we now also support health frames so i can animate some stuff here and let's say the third frame i want to hold it so i just say hold to hold it for a couple of frames so now these are basically grouped together in this timeline view and it's all the same frame so if i make an adjustment here same thing for the other ones if i now create a new frame here then these convert to the new frame so i can just draw something here and it works like this what you can also do now is um, um, you can clone frames so for example i make this beautiful eye um, i can clone this frame let's say a couple of times um, and now if i switch to transforming frames instead of the whole stage i can basically animate it by moving it frame by frame if i want to yes so you get the idea um okay next point recoloring brushes so let's say i draw this beautiful flower here uh, wonderful i can take this little tool and pick a color and i can recolor the lights uh, any way i like and we also have an eraser so you can get rid of parts of your lines and make nicer edges and stuff like that so there's also a ton of brushes here um, let me show that next so brushes we have the quill brush it does things like this it's a bit dependent on how you fast you move your hands and uh, yeah it feels very good i can say that um as i have like a paper brush it kind of looks like this there's a little bit of a texture on it also it's flat um then we have just a normal flat brush uh, we also have opacity so you can adjust opacity uh, we have a pattern brush that does things like this can be quite handy it's also flat but you can easily like paint more volumetric shapes with it as well um, is this brush here it's very good for fire effects or lightning or something like that it's 
very cool. Um, looks a little bit more like, like a pencil when you use it with a smaller brush size, I would say. Uh, all right, friend of mine, that's the point brush. The point brush is basically just a normal brush, but it's always smaller. When you scale up your drawing, the lines stay small as well. Whereas most of the other lines, they just become really big. Uh, same goes for the quill brush, by the way. The lines keep their width. Um, okay, then there's a cube brush. It's really just a normal brush in the shape of the cube. And the sphere brush, which is the same. It's just a colorful brush. Um, Yes, but they feel very nice. Um, and for all brushes, you can adjust the tapering, so you can get rid of it, no tapering, or just have opacity tapering. Um, yes, and we have the light tool. The light tool is pretty cool with the cube brush. Um, so it basically just makes you, maybe I should get rid of the tapering. It just lets you make lines like this which maybe brings me to the next thing um, we also have rotational opacity what that means is I can start making cube for example um, and if rotational opacity is on, that means if I move around, I won't see it anymore. It only gets drawn from where I drew it. So if I go here now, and I make the other face of the cube, I can see it from here, but it disappears nicely from here. So I can make like very interesting objects like that. Also works when I just move it around. Um, yes, I think that can be very interesting. Okay, on to the next one. Um, the anim brush. Basically, now you can animate while the timer is running. So if I create a timer now, let's say 12 frames, and I just run it. Uh, maybe I take another brush, something like this. Let's say I want to make a waterfall. I pretty much just start painting a waterfall. And it automatically fills up the frames. And I can make very interesting, nice effects like this. So now I take maybe a little bit of the lighter car, a smaller brush, make some more lines. Give it a bit more life. And a little bit more. So I can easily make like a kind of a running water effect. Uh, while it's running, I can also I can add new timelines. So I make another one, give it maybe five frames or six. Um, create more water on the bottom. A little, little pool of water here. Some more dark color because it's deep water. And then obviously, we need some splashes and the water from above comes in. So you get the idea. You can probably make it a lot more detail than I'm doing it right now, but it's very nice. You can also like switch between timelines back and forth while it's running. You can do pretty much anything while it's running. Uh, so if I take this brush, you can start making these effects. Make it big. Make a, starting to make a fire. Switch up the color a little bit.
Yes. So that's pretty much that. I'm sure you guys can do way cooler stuff with it. Um, what else we got? Ah, by the way, you can change the background color. Clicking this cube, it just applies what the right color is selected right now. Um, we have floor. You can enable and disable the floor if you like to. And we have saving and loading. So now you can save your scenes and load your scenes. Let me show that quickly. Just gonna make something. Just this little face here. Maybe with some some wavy hair. Beautiful. So now I want to save this little guy. Uh, I'll go here and I say save. And I get this little camera on my hand. So now I can basically just record this guy. And now if I go and load, I see all my scenes that I already have here. And there's my little guy that I just made. Um, load something. This is a room I made at some point. You can go and look at this plant. And yes, and one more thing, we have a little GIF recorder in here as well. So you can go ahead, you can create a little little movie of your scene and it gets saved, as you can see here. And then you can share it if you feel like it. Alright, I think that kind of covers most of it. Ah, we have unlimited undo and redo as well. You can undo by pressing the right application menu button. So I can mess it all up in here and change the background color. I can totally undo all kinds of stuff. You can also do it here from the menu. Um, yeah. I think that covers it. I hope you guys have fun and make some cool stuff and show us what you make.